Let's try and jam another one. Team seems to be working okay, so uh, let's see if we can find another winning set here. Stay positive. That's the plan, right, chat? Stay positive. You, me, everyone. Let's stay positive today. The man says before he almost certainly starts yelling at this pointless video game. <laughs> Uh, Polyrath. Polyrath is not the best lead we could see. Also not the worst lead we could see. I love yelling at clouds. Clouds are the best to yell at. Right? I mean... I'm not, I'm just not going to shield it. Yeah. Because the way I look at that is that like, if that is an icy wind, they make our life really easy. And if it is a scald, then yeah, we're going to, we're happy here, right? Okay. We're not that happy, but <laughs> we do get to put arguably our our counter on it, right? I mean, Ferg is basically our counter. I'm certainly okay hitting this. And then hopefully catching a Grass Knot. Or a Moonblast. I'm happy catching either of those moves, but preferably a Grass Knot. There we go. Money in the bank. The question now just becomes, do they have Future Sight to punish us? Do they have Future Sight to punish us? I'm going to let that go. Yeah, because they know they can come out of this with some with some energy, right? But I'm I'm mostly concerned at this point. Oh my god, they have Shadow Force. <laughs> All right, my opponent wins. They landed a Shadow Force. <laughs> Who's the winner now? Who's the real winner now? Yeah, they they know. They know. They can concede with their head held high because they Shadow Forced me. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful opponent. A plus, no notes. You keep being awesome. I love it. I love it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh. Oh my. All right, Jigsaw. Good luck, friend. What you got for us? We've got a Dirge and a Steelix. Ooh. Ooh. Our whole team is pretty decent into Steelix, but... I think we're okay coming here. Brutal Swing does less than half. So we can, in theory, tank some Brutal Swings if we need to. I think I'll match shields, though, if they're going to shield, like... I feel fairly comfortable here. I also feel somewhat comfortable with like giving them yeah you know what like I don't mind necessarily taking just a ton of uh, shield advantage here right of course, if they get a Brutal Swing right there, I'd be very sad, but I don't think they're going to. Yeah, like, 
you know, a lot of the a lot of the probable Pokemon in the back are just not well suited for handling, say, Skeledurge with a bunch of energy. And we know that we have another really good matchup into this. So I can pretty safely just play it this way. So what do we need to do here? We have to avoid a scenario where they just scald me to death in that other matchup there. Just to say we need a, enough energy to force them to throw their move somewhat early right this thing is pretty low we force them to throw there so they needed two scalds or an icy wind and a scald either way i think they're going to be oh yeah not going to work even two scalds just isn't going to be enough ggs all right Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. It would have been a little cleaner if we could have just knocked out the Polyrath, but came up a little short on that. <laughs> right, that makes me that makes me smile, Tal. That makes me smile. I wouldn't quite say that though. Uh, Venusaur. Good lead for us. Quite good lead for us. Oh, I actually already should have switched, obviously, but... Okay. We in that polyrath elo doing those polyrath things, yeah. Just about. Um I should be able to tank an icy wind, so we're going to. Shadow on shadow, I can still tank the icy wind. And then the Venusaur is gonna have a really hard time um killing us with vine whips, right? So if they go for like a scenario like this, like we're definitely going to get to a move before they kill us with Vine Whips, for sure. We may even get to two, given that Vine Whip is double resisted. Right. Oh, we should have... Oh, baby. We did get to two. Now, they have like 100 energy, so... They're going to just frenzy plant the shit out of our Skeledurge, but. Okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I don't think you're winning this one. So, like, here's the problem that they're about to run into. So, they have a billion energy, right? None of their moves will one-shot Skeledurge, and I have a shield. So, I'm going to get two Incinerates, which is all I need to kill them, regardless of how they play that. They, they basically need to find a way to make it so that I can't Incinerate them twice, which is just really impractical for them to do, especially given the... Uh, like, a catch there is kind of nice if I don't have the mirror or something that's decent into the uh, gator in the back. But with the mirror there, they just know that they're not going to be able to find. They're not going to be able to find what they need, right? Right. 
a Pidgeot. Okay. I mean, this is not like a sexy matchup for us at all. But our team is actually a little bit weak to Pidgeot. Which is why I'm nervous about no shielding this. But you know what? Like, okay. Most Pidgeots are not bold. Let's leave it at that. Most of them are not bold. Most of them like to feather dance first. It tends to lead to the most even results, right? If you just go for the feather dance first. I still don't expect them. Okay, they actually did Brave Bird me. Bold of them. I mean, we'll just kill this thing. Like at the end of the end of the day here, uh, I'm not overly upset with the trade, right? It works out kind of okay for us. I think what we're gonna do here, ideally, is uh, wait for them to throw a scald at us, and then we'll switch. Not great use of my energy there, but they should. Yeah, they'll throw on schedule, so. We'll have a little bit of energy coming out. We'll put Venusaur on it. Hopefully that Pidgeot was their designated grass counter. And there's some kind of either like double water team or something that can't handle a Venusaur or, you know, something or, you know, something like that. I'm not sure. You know, no, no, no Skeledurge in the back. You know, that's the kind of thing we're hoping for, I guess. It's not the best outcome we could have we could have found, but we did get a shield out of them, right? The problem is we can't come out of this with energy without them obliterating us right and then this is just not yeah you got me ggs we're gonna just throw that away we're not gonna win that one i was looking to see kind of where that shook out but just wasn't gonna happen so it is what it is tricky lead for us we needed switch advantage if we had played that to switch advantage we have a chance to win that game but it's still a little tricky um it's not a given that we win the game from there but a Talon Flame. Okay. Brave Bird would be kind of bad. Fly is fine. And we did CMP, so no one's going to get... No one's going to get the extra incinerate on that first batch, which is really nice. All right. And I can just throw the disar. Ooh. Is it double fly already? Nope, that's flame charge. That's fine. Some of them managed to CMP on every one of these moves, so that's kind of interesting. And we'll take our switch advantage. Oh, boo. Well, the one incinerate there is still good value, so I'll take it. But so far, the team has been very, very, very hostile to uh, Venusaur. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Team's been very hostile to Venusaur thus far. I'm be a little bit coy with... The whole team is just extremely hostile to Venusaur. Also, they just caught a move like three Shadow Claws late. So there's that, but. There's literally almost nothing for our Venusaur to do. They could be on Draco Meteor, right? The other move is Thunder Punch. They're on Aqua Tail. Okay. We didn't need to shield that, obviously. 
I don't need to shield any of these charge moves. Um, yeah, just the whole not a target for Venusaur on the whole team. Like, I think we have a real chance of winning this, but there's not a single fucking place for Venusaur to go. We have nothing to do with it. Unfortunately. It's still a pretty strong Pokemon, though, so, like... Oh, boo. I needed that farm. Getting that farm might have been able to... Might have been able to pull us out of this tailspin, but... Because then we'd have a shield and we'd have these frenzy plants. And we have a move on our... Uh... See, like... It's pretty damn close. But this will be a drill run for the win, but... I think if we had had a shield, I think we could have won that game. Unfortunately, that farm down came. Uh, we also shielded a, a bad Aqua Tail. Honestly, that we probably didn't need. But say lovey. Not having a Venusaur target was kind of sad. All right. Hey, we'll take another three win set. At the end of the day, up, 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 and away we go.